Hello and welcome to Black Pumps TV. This is Noni Nwaseki and today we're just so excited to bring you the fashion maven all the way from Houston, all the way from Nigeria, Miss Loretta Lawrence. How are you? I'm doing fabulous. Thanks for having me here. I've always watched your work and I'm so excited. I'm excited and we are going to bring to you everything fashion. Talk about the queen of fashion. That's who we're talking to today. Oh, thank you. How long have you been doing this? Um, 30 and change. Can you imagine? And she's, all my life. All your life? All my life. Okay. Just for background sake, I've known her all her life. And I just told her that she writes the rules and breaks them herself. So just so you know, so she's everything fashion, especially African fashion. And I heard that you're starting a new line. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm starting a new clothing line okay. called Born to Do It. Born and to do it. <laughs> the label speaks for itself. Okay. I'm born to do this. It's in my DNA. It is. It started in... from my daddy, my mother, and I'm here, and the next generation, I believe, too. Wow. And um, basically, what it is is um, having the comfortable pieces, mm -hmm. but in the ethnic prints, going tribal, and um, putting the two worlds together meets the, what we call. East meets West. So what do you mean by East meets West? Can you explain that to our audience? Okay, <laughs> when I talk about East meets West, yeah. it's um, doing the African print, which is the ethnic print. Okay. Sewing them to, into a couture gown, into maxi skirts, into things that are acceptable, t-shirts, um, headbands, everything. So you're so. doing African themed clothing, then you transfer them into like a western? Absolutely, that's what okay, it so is. Okay, so that's the East Midwest? Yes, that's oh, what it is. That's amazing. So, okay. what's your inspiration about doing this? Uh, my inspiration is environment, mm -hmm. and um, my greatest inspirators were my father, my parents, um, my dad and mom, mm -hmm. because they did so much of that way back in the days when Nigeria was doing a lot of importation. Yeah. They would import things from France, from everywhere and end of the day the government kind of changed and we started wearing the ethnic prints mm -hmm. and this day you see them into couture gowns yeah. balls um, ball skirts you know and everything so that's just where the inspiration came from environment so let me let me because like I said I've known you for a while so before this whole craze about African fashion, African print, were you actually into this? Because you said you started like 30 years ago? Yes, I've always. Okay. I still remember um, early 80s mm -hmm. when we were doing the maxi skirts with okay. African prints yes. and then t-shirts on top. So it's still part of it's Miss West. And so it, where, where, where were you making them? Were they made here or were they made back home? Oh, they were made back home in Nigeria, yes. Okay. And um, this is continuation. This is a continuation. And do you have like a storefront in the U.S.? Oh, absolutely, yes. I have um, two stores now, opening the third store in fall okay. at the mall. Yeah. And the two stores are doing fantastically well. So why are you in L.A.? Oh, well, we're here to look for storefront. We're oh, looking my. looking for location for the fashion show and for the store. And um, L.A. has always loved my stuff. Yes. I have good clientele here, too, so... Yeah, you you, just, talk, you just talked about fashion show. Do you also do fashion shows? Oh, absolutely, yes. I started that way back, okay. like, two decades ago from Nigeria. Okay. Yeah, then I didn't know what I was doing. Ah, now she knows what she's doing. Now I know what I'm doing, yes. She's the queen of fashion. Look <laughs> at her, look at her, head to toe. Look at Thank her. You. But Thank then I'm you. wondering, you're queen of African, well, queen of fashion, and you do a lot of African prints, but yet you're wearing this a non-African print. No, 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 this is part of it. Oh, this is part oh, of yes. it. Oh, yes, this is valisco material with stretch. Oh, wow. Stretch. Yeah, this is African clothing. This yes. is, uh, oh yes, my gosh, yes, I didn't know is. this. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, now I can now start wearing African clothes. With clothes oh, yeah. like this, I can wear African Absolutely. clothes. Absolutely, that's what it is. It's the Velisco material. Wow. Okay, yes. So are you make it from all sizes for all sizes? Oh, yes, definitely. You know, we go from 0 to 20. Okay. Yes. And so are they all special ordered or is something you can just buy online or in the storefront? Um, both. 
Both. All of the above, yes. So you can custom make something, Absolutely, right? yes. Um, mostly I do custom made. Okay. Yes. So I'm going to ask you something that kind of near and dear to my heart. So when you go to like a Nigerian function, you see these people who are all like, the clothes are all well beaded and they still have this big chunky necklaces. What, I mean, sometimes I'm like, okay, where am I paying attention on the necklace or on the clothing? Can you talk about why we do that? Okay. Um, it's And if it's appropriate. <laughs> okay. Um, there's something we call individual style, personal okay. style. Okay. In fashion, mm -hmm. less is more. Okay. Yes. But in African fashion, in African fashion, more <laughs> is more beautiful. Okay, because of the culture. Okay. Think back to the 18th century okay. when Queen Nefertiti. She has to adorn herself with all kind of jewelries. Oh my, and she's trying to convince me to wear this thing. <laughs> well, that's, I'm not condemning it, but yeah. at the same time, it's individuality. Yes. I don't condemn because of culture. Mm -hmm. If you are a queen, yes. a queen has to wear more, more jewelries, more fabrics, everything. And that's what makes a queen. But then, but then I'm looking at you, I'm looking at what you're wearing. You have very pretty jewelries in your hand, Thank you. very small dainty earring and no necklace yes. but yet you still see some people who are like with everything you have and they have all these chunky things yes. around their neck that's their individuality that's their personal style i don't dress like that do you consider it too much or too little um <laughs> in between i always say less is more less is more less is more okay but um if you're a crown queen yeah you have to wear your regalia right okay you gotta do a lot of jewelries your headgears and everything so so who are the most uh popular people that you've dressed in your lifetime in your career oh in my career i've done pretty much i'm nollywood i have um she's nollywood huge, yes a huge clientele okay Kate henshaw um when it comes to nigeria i tell you all the a-list yes yes a-list so you've been there done that oh yes <laughs> definitely and here in america same yeah. thing we have our U.S. Nollywood, okay. which I'm doing. Most of the movies, I take care of the wardrobe in. Oh, wow. Yes, That's yeah. amazing. Yes, yes, yes. I've done too many, too many. And then I have all the A-list. I mean, I know we have women that love themselves, mm -hmm. want to do things that are different, and I work with them. So I pretty much work with a lot of people, okay. stars, A-list, everybody. So when you were talking, you said style is individualist. So is there anything to you that is a fashion faux pas? Ah. Yeah. And, and if so, what is that? What would that be? Well, I always look at accessories as a fashion faux pas. <laughs> yeah, accessories. Okay. Yeah. We go from, we love custom jewelry, mm -hmm. but some of them are not good. They're not good. Yeah. They kind of shout. Yeah, glass. it screams unnecessarily. Yeah. So I tell people, can we drop this and use this instead? And when they say, I love it, I'll tell you I'm very honest. Mm -hmm. but if that's what you want, it's not really doing it. Yeah. And um, sometimes, for the most part, they listen. Oh, that's good. Yes. So, in terms of since we're talking African fashion, but I do know that you do other than African fashion, what are the basic things that you think a woman should have? Okay, in African fashion. In African fashion. You should have the right accessories. Okay. okay. Gold plated, because um, gold is very expensive. Yeah. Then the beads. Okay. Okay. I don't like clustered beads, not okay. too many colors, keep it subtle. And then you need your headgear. You need your headgear. Medium size. I call it princess style. Okay. Not the canopy. By headgear, you mean the gele? The gele, okay. yes. Okay. No canopies. Less is Can more. Canopies. Which one is a canopy? The canopy <laughs> is where you have to have the size of a house. Oh my. As a headgear. Oh my, and they are sitting that in front of you in a wedding. And they're blocking your view. <laughs> they sit anywhere, you're running away. So yeah. that's a no no. Yeah. So less is more. Less is more. So in terms of African fashion, what is the vogue right now? Um, well, too many things are in vogue right now, mm -hmm. like the tunics, Okay. which we call the dashikis. Dashikis are all over the world. Yes. They're number one. Yeah. They're pieces that, I mean, I love them. And it's gone beyond color, 
tradition mm -hmm. and style yeah. and it's come to stay. So Dashiki is at number one. And so then, you think they are going to stay? The oh, they've been here for a while and oh, they're really? going to stay. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Being everywhere today, I see them. Dubai, yeah. London, everywhere. Oh, I see them. I see them on every kind of press. Absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean... But I just thought it's a fad. It's no, not, no, no, it's not. Okay. It's going to stay. Okay. Okay. I mean, yeah. they serve as crew's wear, mm -hmm. depending on the colors. Mm -hmm. Softer colors are better. Okay. Okay. They can serve as crew's as anything. Yeah. And then... um the ball gown. well i don't call them ball gown. Mm -hmm. we call them abada abada okay abada, is abada the women or the men the, the women okay the women. which okay. one is abada um the abada is like a tunic the long okay one. the long ones okay. Yes. okay 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 some people call it the booboos yes that's they are I'm very on i mean mm -hmm. you could wear them day into evening mm -hmm. depending the evening ones are the highly embellished ones yeah. they are really beautiful but you gotta be careful with the colors okay. and the embellishment. Okay. Okay. So do we see any Hollywood movie stars beginning to wear those African cultured dresses? Oh yes, almost everybody. Everybody from Rihanna to Solange to mm -hmm. Beyonce, yes. Now which one of them would you want to wear Lawrence Couture? Um, I would want um, Solange. Solange? Yes. Why Solange? Because she wears them well. Oh. Yes. Okay. She believes in going tribal, so. And most so every designer is doing the same thing okay. from Chloe to Gucci mm -hmm. to everybody. Right. Everybody's going tribal. Right. I was in a show, you know, Spring and um, Christian Louboutin mm -hmm. did the African influence in purses. Really? And they're not cheap, yes. Wow. And these are the same fabrics I have in my store. So wow. it's a universal thing, yes. So, going, so we're going global. So where, where do you see this African clothing, African fashion in the next five years? Oh, wow. And how do you plan to play in there? Okay, definitely in the next five years is dominating the whole market. And in the next five years, Loretta Lawrence occasions Loretta is going to be number one. Already I am going to be wearing wings. one soon. So. Absolutely. <laughs> I am going to put you in yes, one yes, very soon. Yes, yes. I, I, I work according to individuality and mm -hmm. lifestyle. So yeah. yes. Yeah. It's not, there's no going back. It's dominating the market. It's dominating the and market. Everybody, so. everybody, 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 blue, white, get on, black, yeah. get on board. Get on board, get yes. on board before get the board. train shoes out. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. Well, this has been really, really amazing. So we know that you're going places and in five okay. years, you're gonna take over this world. Thank you very much. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah. So what is your parting words to like women or so a young woman out there who is beginning to venture into this fashion industry? Okay, my first advice is you need to do your research well, do your feasibility. African fashion is broad. Don't go into everything. Pick up one. You could start with the daytime clothes. You can okay. test with the sportswear too, which is like your t-shirts, yeah. you know, your casuals, before you venture into the high-end couture. They don't come cheap. Mm -hmm. They cost a fortune. Oh. So don't waste your money. Don't go borrowing money and train it away. Do your feasibility. So when, when is the fashion show coming to LA? Um, we are looking at um, spring. Spring. Yes, because we're doing a huge one for Black History Month. Okay. Yes. You heard it here for the first time in Black Forms. We'll be selling the tickets for you and yes. promoting this. Uh, yes, be very delighted. It's going to be amazing. Awesome. awesome. You are an incredible woman. Oh, thank you. Incredible thank you, woman. And you are the best. You know I've always admired you. From way back. From when she was my little sister. Yeah. <laughs> From when she was my little sister. Yeah. yeah. From high school. We're talking about a fashion powerhouse right here. Beauty plus brain, that's what I call her. And that, look at her. Look at her. <laughs> nothing, nothing changes. She's still riding the rules, oh, right? Oh. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm just guessing. going all the way up. By Nothing is grace. stopping you. No Nothing stamp, is stopping you. No limits. No limits. No limits. Thank you so much. Thank My you. Pleasure. I appreciate Thank you. you coming into LA and still being able to do this for us. Thank you very much. My pleasure. My lovely lady. I love you. I'll get a hug. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Nana. Oh, I, I love you, sis. I love This is Loretta Lawrence. You're watching Black Palms Television.